And, and I'm going to jump ahead a little bit on our plan here, because I think this is actually a real good time to talk about lipoprotein A versus the LDL that we've become so accustomed to measuring. Um, you brought up something I think that was really interesting was that, you know, I, and I've, I've talked to a lot of doctors and a lot of them say, yeah, there's, there's, there's cholesterol in, in those blockages. Those blockages have cholesterol in them. Uh, which you would expect if the blood's clotting is pulling in a lot of other stuff with it. But in fact, what you've said in the book was that these are more like um, cholesterol salts, I guess, or so, so cholesterol esters. I'm sorry, I think is what you said. Cholesterol esters yeah, versus yeah. actual cholesterol. Yeah. And, and that's where the uh, lipoprotein A, which in talking to some people about blood tests, they're saying you want to add that to your lipid panel because that number might actually be important, more important than LDL. And in your book, you seem to indicate that it, it probably is, although we don't have a statin or something we can really take to reduce it. So there's not a lot of emphasis on studying what we could do about that. No. Well, yeah, I mean, what, this is part of the almost a 12 angry man approach is that you say, oh, well, look, there's cholesterol crystals inside atherosclerotic plaques. Then there are um, cholesterol crystals inside atherosclerotic plaques. And the, the argument goes, well, you know, cholesterol is carried around in LDL, low density lipoproteins, and therefore the cholesterol we see as these crystals must have come from the LDL. That, where else could it have come from? Well, of course, the answer to that is that the, the yeah, cholesterol is carried around in low density lipoproteins, as are fats and some other things. But the cholesterol is all carried around in, a, in what's called a cholesterol ester, which is one cholesterol molecule attached to a fatty acid. And so that, that's just ester is acid plus alpha. Don't worry, if it's chemical. It's relatively straightforward. But one thing you cannot do is turn a cholesterol ester into a cholesterol crystal because you need pure cholesterol in order to do this. So the one place it could not have come from, a cholesterol crystal, is the LDL. That's, that's not a possible source for it. So then you ask the question, well, where could it have come from? And the answer is the only tissue in the body that contains sufficient free cholesterol is, is the membranes of red blood cells. Actually, neurons have quite a few, but they don't float around in the bloodstream. And, and in fact, cholesterol is essential to the function of red blood cells because it modulates the, the what they call the, the, the lipid layer, if you like, and allows the oxygen to get in and the carbon dioxide to get out without this intercalation, which is the, you know, the thing within the, 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 the red blood cell membrane, it couldn't work. So it's very high in cholesterol. And that is the only potential source of enough free cholesterol to form a crystal. Uh, 